Hey friends, my name is Jillian and I'll be showing you how to make some cosmic mail art using Sakura of America's Moonlight Jelly Rolls. You're going to want a darker color envelope for the pens to really pop on, as well as enough postage to properly mail your envelope. I'm using Sakura's Jelly Roll Moonlight series to decorate my envelope. These are some of my favorite pens and they now come in these great new colors. But before we start drawing, let's start with our stamps. If you use vintage stamps, do not lick them. They're old and they taste yucky. Use a water pen or glue stick to affix. And make sure everything totals to the amount of at least one forever stamp. Now that stamps are in place, let's fill our envelope with art. Here's why I love these pens. They look amazing on both light and dark paper. They're super opaque and the ink flows like butter. I picked out these colors to match the ones present in my stamps. It makes for a more cohesive piece of artwork and your eye will instinctually match them. Now that we have our colors picked out, we can move ahead with our lettering and drawing. Jelly rolls come in a variety of nib sizes and these are fine tip pens. This allows me to make very small details like the stars and dots I'll be making today. Laying out your stamps first gives you a better idea of how much room you'll have to use for the name and address. I love making the recipient's name the most prominent, eye-catching part of the envelope. Now I'm going to thicken up my letters by going over the lines I just made. Try to make sure the line weight is consistent throughout. Jelly rolls are great for layering and blending colors, and I love going over ink with other colors to add more visual interest. It's just a subtle way of adding detail that will really push your envelope from pretty to just plain beautiful. I really like how this looks, so I'm going to repeat the method for the rest of her name, but this time I'll make the purple come from the top down rather than the bottom up. Next, let's add our cosmic cloud of color. We'll be using three tiers of color to make this happen. Let's start on our first tier. We're going to stipple color all the way around the recipient's name, but we'll just do a small area to start. I like to make the dots closer together nearest the name and leave a small border instead of butting up against the letters. Now that you've seen how we're going to stipple our tiers of color, continue all the way around the name. Stippling is time consuming, but it's incredibly therapeutic in my opinion. My mind just kind of goes to this blank space as my hand fills in the space with dots. So put on some music or a TV show and just veg out. You'll be stippling for at least an episode of something. Once your tiers are complete, go over the third tier with a bit of the second tier's color. That way the tiers are not so delineated and they blend more naturally together, and it also creates a burst-like effect. Now here's where you'll want to write legibly and clearly your recipient's address. I'm leaving off the numbers to respect Christie's privacy, just FYI. Write clearly so your beautiful piece of art won't get lost in the mail, which would really be a terrible shame. Jelly rolls allow you to mix up the line weight as you go because the ink is just so controlled. You know what? I know what you're thinking. There's not enough dots. So let's add some more stars around our cosmic color burst. Feel free to dot the pen tip or just make some small circles. There's one more thing we need to add to our envelope to make it postal friendly. 
leave room in the center of the envelope flap for your return address. That way, if it does get lost in space, it'll find its way back to you. I sincerely hope you enjoyed making some space-themed envelope art. Jelly Rolls really allow you to be as creative as you wish. Thank you for watching. Now go make something awesome.